I climb in the car? How can I climb in the car? Yes, like... Thanks.
Hello, Luz. Go get him, Lucy. Lucy, come on, Luce. Lucy, go get him. Three, two, go. I'm dead. Hey, stop. Jump, get back all the way down. Okay, go. Okay, stop. Stop. Go. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. I'm glad we could send you that video. I'm glad I didn't break the camera. Welcome to my show, everybody. I could have went down one-handed, but I figured we were going to go too fast. Bye. Okay, good, Blake. Yeah, one more thing. You might have noticed the boots I was wearing, but those were the first ones I could slip on that were the easiest. Bye. Hi, Grandpa. Welcome to my show on News Channel 6. You won't 
Well, it's not actually News Channel 6, but you won't believe the things I did. One time, I jumped in the fireplace and burnt all my hair off. And my dad did it with me. That's why he's so bald. Look at my head. It has a little bit of hair on it, but not much. Hey, want to talk to Mom? Hi, Dad. Um, <laughs> how are you? Uh, I wish you guys were here, you and Ma. And... <sighs> Golly. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Anyway, um, we just uh, got done doing the Barton play down at Barton Church. I had to play a 17-year-old, shy, timid, pregnant street girl. So that was very interesting, but it was pretty fun. Stu had to play a uh, crabby, uh, recalcitrant guy. So for him, it was kind of typecasting, you know. But uh, yes, Blake, we know you love to be in the show. Hey, this is our new dog over here. This is Lucy. She adopted us. Blake, don't sit on her. You gonna show him Lucy? No. Oh, let's see Lucy. Oh, but Lucy is such. I can't see Lucy over the edge. Oh. Kenzie say something to Grandpa. Say hi to Grandpa. Hi, Papa. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Mama. What you wanna tell him? Um, one of my toys. What? Toys. My toys. Your toys? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Kenzie. Yeah. Hang on, look. Why don't you tell Grandpa how old you are? Two. I have two. Oh, okay. Why don't you sing Grandpa's song? Jesus loves children. Go ahead and sing it. I can't. Sure you can. Oh, no. Sing, you know what? Sing Grumpy Kids. Grumpy Kids. Wimmy wind in the Christmas means I did a I didn't see this more with my means. Very good. Bye bye, Grandpa. Bye bye, Grandpa. What do you got in the cup, Nutball? What do you got in the cup? Tails. What? Tails. Let's have Scout talk. Hi, Howdy. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Um, I know you all love this, and I miss you. And at Christmas, I'll make sure I send you um, a present. I love you. A um, goodbye. <laughs> I'm crazy, Grandpa. <laughs> no. I don't know. What yeah. You tell Grandpa what you got on your chin. Oh, yeah. Show him. Look in the camera and show him. <laughs> uh, it's like, I'm Santa. <laughs> I want you to tell him. She has a Band-Aid on her chin. Show Grandpa. Show him. Point to it. Yeah, isn't that cute? <laughs> hey, Grandpa, I have a rubber band gun. <laughs> Can he really see you? My turn. Mm -hmm. turn? What do you want to say? Um... I don't know. Okay. Well, I might as well say sing Grumpy Kids. Okay. Scott wants to sing something. Oh, what do you want to sing? Um. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Jesus lay down his feet, and the stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Jesus asleep on the hay. Yay, very good. <laughs> What do you want to do? Uh, Shake to the beat, yes. Hey, Dad, do you see these teeth? Do you see these teeth? Do those look familiar? The boy's got my, my pre-orthodontia teeth. Go smile really big. <laughs> no lips. No, Blakey. Chill. He needs to brush them. He hasn't bye, brushed bye. them yet today. Hey, hey Grandpa, want to see my famous dance? Okay, do it. It's really funny. It's called the boy. Take off your coat. You gotta turn at an angle a little bit. Aim at the Christmas tree, Blake. Look at the Christmas tree. Look at the Christmas tree. There you With go. Your whole body. Turn hey. your whole body to the There you go. That's Blake's <laughs> dance. Woo hula. Rumpy kid. Rimmy ring. This he learned from Adam Baum. I oh, I think we already did that. His big, 
his big proud thing that he does. Um, what? What? Do you do? What? <laughs> They're nuts. Lucy, would you like to say something? <laughs> You're a good dog. Okay, everybody shut up. Daddy's going to say something. I mean, I didn't say shut up. Everyone, please be quiet. <laughs> this will be fun. Leave it all in. Daddy will have a good time. Hi, Bill. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, and let me see. Judy and Mel and William. And what's that other guy's name? You know. Uh, so there's Caitlin and and Matthew what? and Amanda and what's that other guy's name Santa and blue <laughs> and blue and blue no why does blue have one red eye and one blue eye what's that other guy's name that lives there at that house you know Dave oh, that's Judy's other boyfriend yeah no the other guy who's the other guy you know, honey, Michelle, who's the other guy? Yeah, you remember, his name's Dan, Dan Dina <laughs> Dern. Dana? Oh, okay, hi, Dana. Hope you're having a swell, too. Hey, we miss you guys oh so badly. It's certainly a thrill. You're such a lovely audience, we'd love to take you home with us. Hey, move your head. There are people trying to look here. Anyway, hope you guys... Uh, are having a Merry Christmas this year. We certainly miss you guys. Hey, videotape is uh, the next best thing uh, to be in there. So we will uh, see you on the back side of the moon. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the tour of the neighborhood. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Grandpa. Grandpa, did you lose tails? I win. I win. Okay, go ahead. This is some of the stuff. I just have a couple of things I want to show you that I drew after I got back from my Paris trip. Um, I got a bunch of stuff, but these are some of the things that I like better. And this is just like a typical Parisian scene. Notice these dog everywhere are dogs. Everybody has a dog, a little dog. They pee everywhere. And there's lots of outdoor cafes. Anyway, this is one of the things I did. I'll show you another one. Okay. Hey, it's my reflection in there. Yeah, uh -uh. Tilt it up. Okay. Okay. Ready? No, yeah, go ahead. Okay. This is uh, sort of a rainbow interpretation of uh, Notre Dame uh, face on. That was pretty fun. When I came right after I got back from Paris, like the first week and a half, I did a lot of Notre Dame. So that's all I drew practically almost all the time was, wa was uh, Notre Dame and then um, Monet's water lilies. You girls need to button it. Okay, next, and we'll show him this, and then we'll go. Now this, I will have to back up. There you go. I'm still rolling. So. Okay. This is the um, other thing that I did right after I got back, about a month after I got back. I uh, worked on this collage of different things up, that I saw. Um, this uh, was from a village in Normandy. With I just wanted to capture the style of architecture that they have. Of course, this is actually a, a row of buildings, um, but uh, and there was a 10th century turret in that town. And This was the stairway. There was a courtyard in the middle of our hotel, and there was a turret, and this was a stairway that went up the turret. Of course, the Eiffel Tower, and uh, Monet's Water Lily Garden up here, and there was a beggar lady that accosted us down here one day when we were waiting to get into Notre Dame, and this up here is the church in uh, Giverny, which is in Normandy, where Monet's buried, and Matisse dancers, we saw a lot of Matisse stuff, and um, the stained glass window was from a stained glass window that Matisse did, and, and anyway, this is just some of my memories of Paris that I couldn't really get good pictures of, so I ended up just drawing some of them. So anyway, just wanted to show you a remnant of Paris. Hi, this is the other thing I was telling you about, is um, 
Remember Stu last year made me a hammer dulcimer? Well, this is what it looks like. Um, this kind of looks like that. Um, he, he and his dad made it. They got a kit. And actually, his dad made the case. And Stu put together the hammer dulcimer. And he drove the pegs and everything and set the bridges and the edges. And he, he, he did it all for me. <laughs> but anyway, I've wanted one of these for about 15 years since I worked at Saturday Market. And um, I've been practicing really hard all year, most of the year. And um, I have a couple of songs. So I'm going to try and play some. And please. If I make mistakes, please help me ignore them, okay? So hang on a minute here. I just kind of learned a couple of days ago, so it's not really, I'm not really proficient at it yet. Okay. I do want to play though, just for a minute. Do I got more time on this tape? Okay, you guys need to settle down and stop it, okay? Excuse me.
Please stay there or go to your room. So that gives you an idea about what I've been working on this year. And these are my little sticks. You want me to show you what these little sticks were like? They're um, they're really thin. I think these ones are made out of fur, probably. And they have a little handle on the end. And they're kind of a hook on that side. And of course, this here is the striking edge down at the bottom. And um, some of them are actually even a they're a little oval at the end. And um, so on the other side of the oval, you can strap leather on there and it doesn't, you can kind of mute the sound. But anyway, I'll, I'll try and draw you a diagram and send it off if you want to make some of these out of some little spare parts. Um, you can see how the, the end, the handle is kind of a bit thicker than the actual stick, I guess you'd want to call it. So 
Anyway, um, that's what that's all about. These go for about forty or sixty dollars. Okay, I gotta say goodbye. I guess so. Bye. We miss you guys. Wish you were here.